Welcome in the, to the Director's Cut on BlazeRadioOnline.com. I'm Braden Bell, joined alongside Chris Cadeau, and a special guest to Mario Richard, Arizona State running back, joining us here tonight. The Devils pull off a big win against Oregon, 37-35, to and we'll start it out with you, DeMario. <laughs> big win, and the offense really came up clutch, but it's like Todd Grant said after the game, it's more of a team effort. So, so what did this group really do tonight to show that they are back? Uh, brought the momentum over from the Texas Tech, you know, and uh, we told each other to be we got each other back, we got each other no matter what. So we came out and fought as a team. We had a great week of practice. And uh, we just came out and ex executed what we were supposed to. And, and a huge night for running the ball as well as through the air. Nikhil Harry seems like every time Manny Wilkins threw up the ball to him, it, it would come down. What's it like playing with such a talented wide receiver like Nikhil Harry? Uh, my job is to, just to keep him focused, you know, and make sure that the success doesn't go to his head and uh, make sure he's level-headed. You know, and, uh, I tell them every day, come, come, come to practice and practice like a pro. You know, no middle errors, you know, no, no false steps, no missed keys or nothing like that. You know, just making sure him and the young guys like Chase, you know, and, uh, just making sure that they're, they're fine and doing what they're supposed to do and uh, play a clean game. Make sure they always play a clean game. So 37 points, obviously a great job by the offense tonight, but the defense was also a big factor in this game, playing the number one scoring offense in the country and holding Oregon only 35 points. And really, time of possession was controlled by ASU as well. So one more question to Mario, and we'll let you get going. What do you think of the defense out there against a very talented Oregon offense? They did a great job. You know, I told them all we need is one or two stops and we're going to win the game. You know, the defense got us two or three stops, you know, and they, got up, they came up big on that fourth and probably, what, three, two? Came up big on that fourth down, and um, we told them. I just told them from the jump, just give us four, give us two to three stops, and we're gonna win this game. They came out, executed the defensive game plan. We came out, executed the offensive game plan. And the rookie Brandon Ruiz came out and kicked that that field goal. You know, if it wasn't for him, we'd probably still be playing right now. So um, we just came out and executed like we were supposed to. All right, I got one for you, Don't screw it up. The offensive line looked right in the first half. <laughs> 21 years where they're going to have live bar from hell to fly and how they were going to the Lions. Was there anything that happened this week that allowed them to come together more as a unit? Or is this something that is going to continue? Most definitely it's going to continue. You know, they're starting to get a feel of working with each other. You know, and, um, it's packed up, but, you know, it's all or nothing. You know, we got our we got our mindset on one thing right now. So, of course, you're going to see more of it. You know, we got to start, no more defensive penetration. You know, and, you know, you come out in the three down and your defensive line is not as big as a normal defensive line, you're going to have a long night, especially with us running the ball. We got 87 rushing yards in the first and second quarter. Like, if you're not going to come out, you're going to have to come out in the fourth down against us. If not, you're going to continue to do a great job, you know, running the ball and uh, just moving the chains every time we need it. All right, so there you heard it. From the source himself, Demario Richard, the Sun Devils pick up a huge win, improved to two and two on the season. ASU will be back on the field next Saturday night at Stanford. Stay tuned to Blaze Radio's coverage of Sun Devil football all year long. One more time for Chris Cadeau, Demario Richard, I'm Braden Bell signing off from Sun Devil Stadium. Appreciate you.